My name is Alex, and this is my friend Nick. We are on a journey to find the best wilderness quest in America. Our adventure starts in North Dakota at Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Now we went ahead and hiked in the south unit. To find the hike, one of all trails found a hard hike, 14.8 miles. As you can see, there's a little dip, but doesn't look too hard. Nice first one. Now, when it comes to how we prepare for our wilderness quest, well, obviously this involves waking up at 5 a.m. and sprinting in an open road in the middle of the national park. What else are we gonna do to prepare? Come on now. Welcome to Theodore Roosevelt National Park. We are here at Petrified Forest Trailhead, about to rip a 14.3 mile wilderness quest. Let's go. I know it looks like we're walking through some grass, but really, there's an entire city down there. And it's a city full of grasshoppers, which were barking at our legs, ankles, and bodies the entire time we were walking through this prairie. This is rattlesnake territory if I've ever seen it. I mean, you can just hear the rattles consistently. And here's the baby rattlesnake that uh, Nick almost stepped on. How adorable. So it is a little smoky out today due to the wildfires up in Canada, but I mean, can't beat that. Current update on the trail. This is all mud. There is no trail. It is mud. Let's go. So, Somehow we, we got a little bit off trail and extremely muddy, extre just no shoes. Um, so much fun. Well, pretty much nothing matters after that statement. Uh, let's just go ahead and cut to the clip where I'm in a mud pit. Hey. <laughs> oh, yep, because I can't pull out. Are you going to pull your foot out? There you go, you're free. <laughs> yeah, keep going that way. Uh, so yeah, hands up, when I was leading, we did go through a swamp and then took a wrong turn deeper into the swamp. In essence, um, there was a path that was speaking to me. I was just trying to follow it. Not the correct path, hand up on that one. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. We're about six miles in, and uh, let's look at our current trail. Quick update, somehow we made it off trail again, but we did see the trail around the other side. Now we're gonna touch right over there. So for about the past hour now, there's like no trails, just kind of walking on this small slithering path. The only thing that is telling us, hey, go in the right direction. This is a beautiful pole. We get these about every, let's say, quarter of a mile. Um, it wasn't for those sticks. But yeah, <laughs> we would have no idea where we're going. So uh, shout out sticks. Thank you. Nick, how, how are you doing? Not good. We're not even halfway and it's getting dark soon. Try we are not on pace to make it. No, we are there. not on pace. Um, we, yeah, we'll be fine though. So casually on the trail, and we have now run into animal bone. You might think, oh, that's just a piece of whatever. Let's go over here. And that's another piece of animal bone. We are eight miles in, We've gone about for three hours, 40 minutes. We're getting past the lowest point. So now we just gotta go through another little valley 
Um, and then we should be going to a mesa, which we're staying up on the mesa for the night. So hopefully we can get to camp by 5.30. Hopefully we can get there to by like 7.30. Be really optimal. So we're about 8.9 miles in and you have no idea how happy I am to be back on the prairie land. I mean, yes. So we just finished our uh, 12 mile hike. We're at about 2000 calories today. Time to eat our mountain house adventure meal. Just got to this beautiful campsite, ready to set up the tent, start cooking. Of course, got to bring out the uh, good old propane and lighter. Except uh, it's not the right fit. We now have no food. Hungry, we're cold. So yeah, looks like another uh, situation that we've been in before. Luckily, two of the last four miles were filled with prairies full of prairie dogs. As we can see, this guy's jumping for joy in the background. I mean, look at how adorable these things are. And they're called dogs for a reason. They actually do bark, but fields full of them. Until this bison that we saw that happened to be right in our path. We were trying to go right to the right of there. Um, yeah, so we just had to chill there for about 10 minutes. Again, they're not supposed to be harmful. Uh, until he started walking at us. Did not love that at all. No fun there. Especially Nick, as he was a little bit closer. He wanted nothing to do with that. And this guy just kind of gave us a nice little show. He, you know, marking his territory like, hey, I'm here for a reason. Look at me. La, la, la. But beautiful animal, to say the least. Then a uh, nice little last view right before the end of the day. And then uh, that would be the end of, end up being a 16 mile hike. What a relief to shut that game. Thank you everyone for watching our first wilderness quest. Now to give a quick rating, I'm gonna give this wilderness quest a 6.4 out of 10, just due to the crappy train at times, uh, walking through mud pits, which fun, but I mean, come on, there was no trail at some points. Uh, Nick? Uh, I'm gonna give this trail a five out of 10. The train was rough, fused with blocks by a lot of smoke, and we were not very well prepared. Yep, and catch us next week because our next one on this quest will be summiting Cloud Peak. Should be fun.